Today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I fish a Nico rig. A Nico rig has been going around lately. It seems to be, you know, a pretty hot topic of conversation. It is a great way to load the boat with both numbers and quality fish. And lately, particularly for us, it's been working on the lakes around me. So I'm gonna show you guys rod and reel setup, line, hook, nail weights, how to rig them, what is it, you name it. Everything about Nico rigs we're about to jump into in this video right here. Let's start off by jumping into what is a Nico rig. If you are unfamiliar, I'll tell you exactly what it is. A Nico rig is a way of rigging or presenting your bait or fishing lure in a manner that the hook is about you know halfway or a third of the way up the bait it's essentially wacky rigging some people you know call it goofy rigging wacky rigging i mean there's a number of different ways ways for it but the difference between a weightless wacky rig and an actual nico rig is that the nico rig has a nico weight or a nail weight in the head of the bait so right here i have a nico rig set up and you guys can see and i'm just going to kind of work my way through this bait of what this is so this is a senko i generally use a senko you can use a number of different worms out there my buddy actually just used a nico weighted craw so you can do this with any soft plastic you could do it with a brush hog it does not matter it's just the manner in which the way the bait is rigged that's all it is so a Nico rig has a weight in the head and then again the hook halfway up the bait that's all it is don't make it too complicated again you can do it with any soft plastic so I'm gonna walk you through what, what I normally do I normally use the Senko I normally use the Yamamoto just standard five inch Senko green pumpkins watermelons honestly guys pick your favorite color it doesn't matter June bug black and blue whatever works on your lake is going to work with this sort of rigging. So normally either people throw these weightless or on a shaky head. But again, this is the Nico rig. So start off with your Yamamoto Senko. And then the next thing that you need and the most important thing for the Nico rig is the weights, the weights in the head. And what I use for those are just nail weights. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll take one out here but I generally use these tungsten nail weights that you can shove up into the head. So that's what it looks like there. And those ribs just help it stay in the bait. Now, pro tip, go ahead and get yourself some super glue. Put some super glue on the you know bottom two or three rungs before you put it into the head of the weight and it'll keep you guys from slinging those nail weights out because a lot of times if you're around docks or making really long cast that whip or that torque from you casting the bait will actually whip uh, rip the nail weight out of the head of the bait and that can be very frustrating and annoying you know going through a pack of these in a day so use super glue and they'll stay in there as long as you can use the bait until the bait's ripped up. So that's a great way to save a bunch of money on weights there. But all you're gonna do is take this nail weight and grab the bottom of your worm or your craw or whatever it is. In this case, like I said, it's my Senko. So I have the fat side and then I have the pointed side. I take the fat side and I go ahead and just feed this nail weight right down the center of that worm. So you can't see it once it's, uh, once it's completed. You can't see the weight. It's completely inside the worm. And then from there, let's work our way up. The next thing you have to do is go ahead and get a band. I don't love the bands. The bands twist your hook a lot and the, the hook will normally get, I guess, rearranged when the fish bites and pushed back into the worm so you don't hook up. So I actually like these little rubber rings I like the double ring because normally if you use one ring, it's a lot easier to sling the bait out. Again, the complete bait out of the ring itself. So I like these double rings. 
if you guys have a better system out there for your wacky rigs or your Nico rigs for securing the bait, whether it be these rings or bands or a new product that I haven't heard of, go ahead and drop, drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what the best setup for, you know, wacky rigging or Nico rigging in terms of the actual bands or rings themselves so this is what i have found to be best again just that double ring it keeps the hook positioned well and then it also it keeps the hook normally from you know going back into the the, the bait when a fish bites it so that's that so we've got our weight in the bottom we have our band now let's talk about our hook my favorite hook is a gamagatsu one aught wide gap hook so you guys can see there. You can also use a one-aught Gamagatsu drop shot hook, just like that. I like the wide gap hook. It's just got a little bit wider of a gap than obviously than the, uh, the drop shot hooks. So you seem, at least for me, I've never had an issue with hookups on the drop shot hook, but just again, personal preference, what meets the eye, you know, confidence is king, especially in fishing. So I use a one-aught hook. It doesn't matter, pick your favorite brand guys. I love Gamagatsu, but pick your favorite brand, one aught hook there. And then we've talked about, again, the worm. I normally use a Senko. You can use any shaky head worm. You can use any plastic, it does not matter. Just the Nico rigging is that way in the bottom. And I'll show you exactly how it looks. And then finally, another little pros tip. So if you guys are watching this, man, I'm giving away a lot of good information here. If you guys are enjoying this, go ahead and drop a like down below. Uh, for all these secrets that I'm sharing with you guys. I would really appreciate it. But another thing that I really like to do just to, to be different, to stand out, is I go ahead and dip that tail in either a chartreuse or an orange or a red. And those are kind of the three colors that I go with. I normally let the bait fish determine that. And what I mean by that, if I start catching some fish and they start spitting up crawfish, I'm probably gonna throw orange or red on the back if they start spitting up, you know, bluegill, I see some bluegill or a lot of bluegill up shallow, I will then throw that chartreuse on the tail. So I kind of let the lake and the conditions determine what color I dip the tail, but it's just a little bit different, a little bit of extra color, and then it's also scent as well. This is garlic scent. I use JJ's Magic. It's, uh, it's my personal favorite. It just dip it, it stains everything, so it's a pain in the butt, but it works. It works for the fish. So that's my opinion there. But that's my Nico setup. And again, when you're, when you're looking at it or just hanging here, it looks like a wacky rig, but again, it's got the, the nail weight in the head. And what this does, so now, when you cast this out, this bait is gonna sink down just like this, and it's gonna shimmer the whole way. I mean, it's very loose, it has a ton of action. Now, when it sits on the bottom, this is how it's gonna, gonna sit on the bottom. It's gonna stand up for the most part, especially if you keep tight line, it will fall over if you let it slack line. But when you have it tight, it's gonna stand up. And now the difference between this and a shaky head. So a shaky head, all the weight is on the bottom and your line tie is on the bottom. So when you pull that bait, it's pulling the head. And all it's doing is just kind of hopping along just the bottom like this. When you pull a Nico rig, the big difference here is because you're pulling from the center of the bait, you get this kicking action. And again, just like that, pretend this is facing that way, but you get this kicking action with both ends of the bait. And then because the nail weight is, is on one side, all it's gonna do is when it kicks and then it's gonna fall. So it's gonna kick, kick and fall and stand up, kick and fall and stand up. And it's just a unique action that has a lot more movement, a lot more natural presentation. You know, there's a lot more things going on for that fish to commit and take the bait. So it is one of my number one finesse rigging baits out there is the Nico rig. So that's my Nico setup there. Hopefully that explains it perfectly for you guys on what exactly a Nico is. Again, just to drive this point home, a Nico rig is simply a system. It is not a particular bait. It's a system in which you have a weight in the head of the worm, and then you are ultimately wacky rigging your worm or creature halfway up the bait with some sort of band. And it just creates, again, a different action from you know, pulling from the center of the bait rather than the bottom of the bait. So go ahead and try that out, guys. It's going to catch you guys a ton of fish. I have caught so many big fish on this rig. 
I've unfortunately, I guess it's out of the bag now since I'm sharing with you guys. That's a perk for subscribing to this channel. But uh, if you guys are enjoying this, again, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for all these secrets. I would appreciate it. But that rigging right there will catch more fish and bigger fish than a lot of baits out there. So for me particularly, we just got finished up or we just finished up fishing our Fisher of Men stop number two tournament. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll link that here. But we caught every one of our fish we weighed in on this Nico rig. It is a fish catcher for sure. So that's that. Now let's jump into my rod and reel for the Nico rig. I love the NRX series. I think it's one of the best rods out there. Super sensitive. Pick your favorite guys. I'm, I'm not going to get into that here. But this is a 7.1. It's an 852, so it's a medium rated rod. It's a 7.1 extra fast. That's my perfect Nico rig setup. I've got 10 or 12 pound braid here, doesn't matter which one. And then I would run anywhere from a six to a 12 pound leader. And let me break this down for you guys, a fluorocarbon leader. I would go six if you're around very clear water with no structure. I generally run eight, that's my favorite. And I would jump all the way up to 10 or 12 if I was going to fish, fish this around cover, whether that be rocks or wood or maybe docks. So I generally fall in the middle of that range, 6 to 12 again. So I, I fish probably 75% of the time with 8 and 25% of the time, or I'll say 20% of the time with 10 and then the other 5%, you know, either 6 or 12. So that's kind of the setup there. Now, how we're going to work this. If you guys are familiar with a shaky head, and let's pretend you're not actually, let's just pretend that you don't know how to work it. All you're gonna do is cast this bait out there and let it sink to the bottom. You want it to make sure that this bait stays and remains in contact with the bottom. That's the only way you're gonna get bit with this. I don't wanna say only way, there's probably some freak incident where someone caught you know, a fish over a brush pile, speed reeling, a Nico worm, who knows? I mean, fish are stupid. But most of the time, guys, let this bait get to the bottom and you wanna work it very slowly. Again, like if you are familiar with a shaky head, you wanna work it like a shaky head, just very small hops and pops, keep it on the bottom. You can drag it, same thing with a Nico. So when it gets out there, it goes to bottom. All you're gonna do, you're either gonna drag, so very slowly, you guys can see how slowly my arm is moving. I mean, you want this to be on the bottom the entire time. Or what my favorite way to, to fish this is just to shake it. And I mean, literally just shake the tip of the rod. You're not necessarily pulling the bait, you're just moving the bait. And when that bait is down there on the bottom, all it's gonna be doing is just shaking like this and maybe moving a little bit just like that. Nothing crazy, it's not gonna be moving far. You want to soak that bait in front of the fish's face and just pretend, even though you can't see him down there, pretend that your, your bait is right in front of that fish and he's just looking at it and you just wanna be shaking it right in front of his face. You don't wanna be moving it towards you, you just wanna be shaking it down there. And that's the way that you guys are gonna be successful fishing the Nico rig. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, drop a like down below. Go ahead and comment if you fished the Nico rig before and maybe your biggest fish on the Nico rig. But I promise you guys, if you guys add this to the, the tackle box or the arsenal, it's worked for me. It's worked tremendously for me. Better yet, just to prove to you guys that it works for me, go ahead and watch this fish catch right here. Look at that one. That's another, probably close to four. So pretty cool. As you guys can see, it catches big fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will talk to y'all soon.